Newsroom correspondent Brianna Whitney has been looking at the actions Renner and his family took right after that attack. Yeah, I was reporting on this last week. Right, there was yeah. a lot of interest in this, and people are concerned with the actions that were in that police report, and it's something the Queen Creek Police Chief addressed today. Talon Renner is one of seven suspects charged with first-degree murder and Preston Lord's death. The police report sheds light on the alleged actions the Renner family took in the days after the attack to hide Talon. Now we know those actions are under investigation. According to the police report, Talon's father, Travis Renner, had a longtime girlfriend who was close with the family. She told police after the deadly assault, Talon was taken to the family cabin in Sholo, about three hours away from where they live in Gilbert. She went on to say while Talon was at the cabin, she was messaging with him on Snapchat. Talon sent her a photo of himself walking the family dog, and she told police she could tell by the photo that his jaw was swollen. She submitted that photo to evidence. That ex-girlfriend also told police that an attorney had advised the Renners to let Talon's hands heal before bringing him back to town. So did Queen Creek police know he was taken out of town intentionally? And do those actions warrant any charges in terms of impeding the investigation? We are aware of exactly where he was at through all of our investigation. So that that is not even of question. So we that was part of going through Snapchat and other um, uh, different types of data that helps us locate people. We're still investigating the allegations from that and trying to find evidence that um, what is being alleged is is a crime and whether or not we actually can uh, find a probable cause and whether we can prove it. So um, too too early to say much more about it than that. One account that comes up several times in the police report from many witnesses is a Snapchat message from Talon Renner where he admits he was drunk, hit Preston, and he died. He goes on to say, quote, I guess I'm just too strong. We saw that over and over again in that report. The police chief told Arizona's family today he is confident they have enough evidence for convictions with the charges against the seven, including Talon Renner. Guys. We'll be waiting to see what the county attorney's office decides on the two additional suspects they're recommending charges against. Brianna, thanks so much.